wise, be smart, behave my heart, don't upset your cart when she's so close. Be soft, be sweet, but be discreet, don't go off your feet, she's too close for I went around to the private officers club and uh, I heard this voice, Johnny Mathis, I thought, what? I thought, what the hell? Who, what Filipino's doing him, you know? Mm -hmm. he's, he's doing, what he, whatever, whoever it is, he's doing a great job. Uh -huh. and, I, and I walked into the club, because I was about to head to the dressing room, and it was the real Johnny Mathis. So I had to go on up to him. Oh, this is about 1.30 or something in the morning. Wow. You know? But, uh, but yeah, he was there. I've got a good story about Johnny Mathis. I, uh, this is early 80s. Um, do you remember what June Evans? Officers used to be in all June Evans, yeah. June Evans, uh, young talent time officers and all that used to be oh, in the old gas building in North oh, Sydney, okay. opposite, practically opposite North Sydney Station. Oh, okay. I had an office there with Dougie Gallagher. With Dougie, yeah. And uh, Lynn Rich, Tommy Tico had his office there too. Yeah, yeah. Anyhow, I got this call, they said, uh, John Metz is coming out. Uh, do you want to put an orchestra together? So mm -hmm. I said, shit, yeah. So. I put the orchestra together. So it was my orchestra who performed with the, the Region Hotel. At the Region, yeah. Yeah, the Region. And uh, it, it was quite amazing. You know, two guitarists, one classical, one electric. Tom Ferris was beautiful. Who was on bass? Me. Oh, uh, I thought Tom, you uh, uh, might have been conducting. No, I wasn't conducting. He had his own conductor. But, uh, you know, we, we did our first session in the morning at 10 o'clock, and the conductor introduced himself. And he said, oh, this, uh, Mr. Mathis and John Slater, I'd just like to thank you all for being here, all the nice things that they say, you know. And um, we started playing, and he stopped the band straight away, and he said, okay, now guys, we're going to be playing at half that level. He says, all the way through. All the way through. <laughs> so watch me, because if you stick out, I'm going to say, he did it. So this is an orchestra. So right? listen to each this other. Is a and don't <laughs> well, I mean, there was, there was eight strings, you know, the usual brass complement, the rhythm yeah. section, two guitars, rhythm section, percussion, tune percussion. Anyway, so we did that, and after a little while, it settled down, and he went. It was really nice. Was, uh, after lunch, Johnny Mathis joined us. You know, so we came back after lunch, two o'clock, ready to go. And Johnny Mathis apparently just got the other foot. He just got out of bed 15 minutes earlier. His sidekick, because I think he's gay, you know, his sidekick or later, mm -hmm. we went, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, uh, he's got him up and he, and he comes, he walks across the road from the Hilton to the Regent, you know, practically across the road, you know. And uh, he introduced, said hello to everybody, his eyes were st he's still doing all that, you know. Candy in the first song started singing, oh. straight off the record. Straight off the fucking record. We all just looked at each other and went, how can you fucking wake up? It starts singing like that, so that was, that was his voice, you know, yeah. amazing. Been a star since he was like 15 or something. Yeah. Um, but it was a lovely, it was a lovely experience, you know. And I was very proud that it was my orchestra. It was fantastic, man. <laughs> but you know, when you look back on it, it, like, it was, Sydney was like a buzz, wasn't it? I mean, oh. with the nightclubs and the bloody, you know. See, this, this conversation should be recorded, really, because this is historical Sydney stuff. You know? Everyone's working seven, seven days a <coughs> week. There was work going on. And more. Yeah, and two, maybe two gigs on Sunday. Well, I, I know the guys that worked at the Motor Club, you know. They'd yeah. be going down to Wollongong to do the fraternity club or something down there, and then come back to Sydney to the motor club at night, you know. Yeah. And, and if you had a smoker in the morning, you could do three gigs in one day. Absolutely. Ah. Good era. Yeah, good era. But the clubs just let entertainment down so badly. Yeah. So badly, you know, because they, well, they start, when they started being run by accountants, yeah. that's when it screwed up. Yeah, that's when, when it was run by managers who were connected to the ground level, they were connected to the members, they were connected to the entertainers, the musos. It was like a big family, really, you know? And everybody oh, yeah. knew what was going on. And payment was cash. Yeah. Yeah, that no, was great. So, uh, so are so you recording? A certain smile A certain face Can lead an unsuspected 
expecting heart on a merry chase. Okay. 